when we come down to it, at the end of the day, we're dealing with certain laws of nature. How, how do we define a law of nature, and what does that process of definition do to our understanding? We define a law of nature as something which gives the the pattern of unfolding events, the structure of the world, in a, a, a very basic form which will apply to all sorts of different events. All sorts of different things, for example, can all fall in accordance with the law of gravity. They can be apples, they can be stones, they can be cats. All these things are going to fall in the same way if they are obeying the law of nature, which is one of nature's laws. The law of gravity, which is one of nature's laws. Now, there is a difficulty with the idea of a law of nature because some people want to talk about laws of nature as things which can never change. And other people want to say that as long as something applies over a fairly long stretch of time to a fairly large part of reality, it could count as a law of nature. Particularly if it applies to everything in our universe in the sense of everything which we could possibly get to know about by direct interaction. Other people want to say, well, no, the laws of nature can change. The laws of nature which rule the early Big Bang, for example, could be very different from the laws of nature which are present later. I don't think it's helpful to try to be tyrannical here. I think you should understand that there may be a variation in these general formulas which we use for describing the world, which are very useful to, for describing the world. There may be a variation of them. If you want to say that this is a case of laws of nature varying, you can. If you want to say this is a case of laws of nature breaking down and being replaced by others, be my guest. <laughs>